The federal government has announced a significant boost to their Agricultural Clean Technology Program, also known as ACT. Federal Agriculture Minister Lawrence McCulley was joined by Member of Parliament Cody Blois at Folly River Farms in DeBert, Nova Scotia, to announce the $97 million boost to ACT, which helps farmers around the country adopt green technology and reduce greenhouse gas emissions. In communities right across Canada, farmers are working to make their operation more competitive and sustainable. By adopting cleaner practices and technology, they're doing what it takes to keep our land healthy, productive, and resilient. But it's not easy. It takes time, it takes money, and it takes technical support. But farmers know that it's the right thing to do in order to meet the challenges of climate change. The ACT program has supported 24 projects across Nova Scotia to date, costing the federal government over $6 million. Folly River Farms was one of the original recipients of ACT, who utilized their funding of just over $49,000 to help build a solar energy system. Owner Lockie McCachern responded positively to the funding announcement. It's a great announcement. We were lucky enough to be recipients in the first round of the, of the funding, and it, anything they can do to help with climate change, I think it's great. In an interview with Saltwire following the announcement, McCulley stressed the importance of tackling climate change while keeping Canada's agricultural industry competitive. If we're going to live on this planet, we have to take action in order to stabilize it. We're not going to turn it around in a quick fashion, but we have to take measures. Not only us, but the world realizes that we have to take measures. And everybody in the world, they're all taking measures, but I think no matter what sector you're in, if you're if you're in the head of the line, you're more accepted for a while. Blois commented on agriculture in rural Nova Scotia specifically, saying the ACT program provides a win-win for farmers and the environment alike. As I mentioned in my preamble, agriculture is extremely important to rural communities across Nova Scotia. And as the minister said, uh, as farmers look to adopt new technologies that are you know, ultimately really good about uh, supporting efficiency, and we're dealing in a world where there's higher input costs right now. So there's ways that we can help reduce the cost for farmers on farm. And then also it results in an environmental benefit. Uh, that's a win-win on both sides. This is Brendan Creamer in DeBert with Saltwire.